What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. K Wavy. And I'm going to be talking to you guys today about my first time getting pulled over by the cops. Honestly, it was scary. <laughs> it was really scary. I seen him from like a mile away. Nah, okay, I'm being OD. Let me be for up. <laughs> All right, but yeah, I wasn't already in the mood before I left the house and I was leaving the house to go to my brother's house. And this happened about an hour ago, three hours ago, two hours ago. And um, I don't have a car yet. So I asked my sister, I said, can I use your car real quick? Go to my dad's house, my brother's house, whatever. So I get there, I was on my way there, and I'm driving along, and I see him. Like, I always spot cops before, I feel like, I spot them before they spot me, I swear to you, every time it happens. And I see him parked up over there, I'm not doing nothing wrong, I'm a good driver. If you guys don't go by my word, you don't have to, but I'm telling you that I'm a good driver. And, yeah, I seen him, look at my rear views, like he didn't pull out, why would he pull out, wasn't doing anything kept on driving and the way the road was set up it was a one lane and it turned into a two this lane all the way to the right side is a straight and this lane is a left turn only going into um going into a store and normally because during the day when i'm in driving for two school if i'm ever late i normally like all the cars do it not to say that I'm, i should be a follower or anything but i was going straight and I went straight in the left turn only lane. And as I was going straight, I was turning into my shopping plaza that's close to me. I'm turning into it and I look behind me and I said, wait, that's the cop that was back there. So I'm thinking, what do I care? I ain't do nothing wrong. So I keep going, keep going. And, oh my gosh, excuse me, dang. <laughs> I keep going, I keep going. I look back like, what's going on? Why is he so heavy on me? Like, what did I do? So then I started getting scared. And I already wasn't in the mood, mind you. So I'm like heated at this point. Why is he still following me? I did nothing wrong. But there was a car in front of me that kind of took that corner kind of heavy. They kind of like skirted on it. Took that corner, they went straight, I went straight. I was following the car. So he got closer to me. So I'm thinking he's about to go around me and go follow that car. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going, had a straight face music playing. I wasn't like blasting an OD, but I had the music up, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm going, driving, chilling. Look behind me, like, why is he still following me? Oh my gosh, going, going, going. Empty parking lot to my right side. And then I look back, still looking back. Why is he following me? I look down, look back up, lights everywhere. And <laughs> from Snapchat, I got a video. So I'll probably throw the video in like right here. Like. The night went from worse to horrible. Cool. And then, bam, 10 seconds, like 8 seconds, whatever. But yeah, you guys can see it. You guys can hear my eyes to like. <sighs> Great. Dude, it just got worse. My mood kind of did change because my mom brought me some food and I'm a little fatty and I love food and eating that food made me feel better and I love juice and I got me some juice so my mood did kind of change and I'm recording I'm doing something that I like to do so my attitude overall is kind of on the upside right now but yeah got pulled over and he's like drivers he's like let me see your driver's license well, the first question he asked me is, where is I going? I was like, my brother's house. He's like, where is that? I told him the street name. I was like, all right, cool. He's like, let me see your driver's license. So at this point, I told myself, if I ever got pulled over, I was going to tell him it's in my wallet. Because with the whole cops and like, I'm not even going to say black teens. I'm saying people in general. With the cops and drive, like teens or like people, it's just... Like I feel like they're trigger heavy. 
But Bloomfield cops, my town cops, they're generally chill, and I know mostly almost all of them. So I'm like, all right. But I didn't say a thing. I told myself I was going to. The first thing I would do would be like, it's in my back pocket. Can I get it? Cause honestly, I don't want to die. I'm not saying all cops are bad either. I'm just saying that some of them may assume or may let their eyes deceive them before they get a clear judgment of things. If that makes sense. And right, I reach in my back pocket, couldn't get it. So I'm like, all right, put the car in park. And I'm like, yo, wait, I'm not doing a lot right now. Take the seatbelt off. And I'm really overall thinking about it right now. Like in the moment, I was just like, park, seatbelt, here. But he could have been like, thought of something completely different. Like he could have like really took me as trying to strike him because I put the car in park and took my seatbelt off. But I wasn't, I promise you guys, I wasn't. I was just reaching for my wallet. I gave him the wallet. And then he looked at the ID. He said, just like this. I took it out. He did this. He said, do I know you from somewhere? I looked at him. To be honest, he kind of looked like my school teacher. I was like, yo, you look like my geometry teacher. Like, you look just like him. Right? But I'm like, no, no, sir. He asked me, he was like, were you on TV? I said, uh, no. I said, I go to the high school. He's like, it might be that. I run track, I do cross country. I think I'm, I've probably seen you there. He was like, you sure you went on TV for anything? And I was like, I don't think so. And then he was like, you were in an interview for the death of a cop or um, for the um, interview of a cop. I said, oh yeah, I was. That interview was like last year though, so I'm like, this is crazy. Like he remember, I know like obviously the face, he probably wasn't thinking about it like all year, but he just he seen the face and was like, I remember you was on TV interviewing one of our like officers. And that's what it was. And I was just like, wow, like, not even like trying to gas myself, but this is, this is, this is what I'm talking about right here for the, um, why I made my YouTube channel. Like him saying that, I was like, yo, I feel known. Like he kind of put me in a good mood. Like, yo, you remember me dog from TV from like last year. What? That's crazy. But um, yeah. And I told him that I did. And he was like, all right, life. He was like, all right, now can I get the registration? So I opened the club. <laughs> I've never gotten pulled over before this day. And mind you, I just got my license too. So I'm thinking nothing of it. So I'm like, yo, I've never seen a registration in my life. What does it even look like? So I opened the glove compartment and he's like, I know where the private registration is. So it's in the glove compartment. Open the glove compartment. I'm like, what does it look like? <laughs> it's really not funny, but I looked at him like, what does it look like? Like I was like, nigga, I was scared and I was mad because I got put over and I was already mad at the point. So I was just like, what does it look like? <laughs> and then he was like, I think it's that in your left hand. I had <laughs> I had papers in my hand. Hold up, hold up. I'm gonna do it like this. <laughs> I had stuff in both my hands like this. So just like this. He was like, stuff in your left hand. I said, he said, your left hand. I started going through the papers. Then I said, right. Oh, I was like, oh shit. So I put down all the papers that was in my right hand. I started looking to the left, right? He was like, I think it's this one. So I opened the envelope. I'm like, all right, registration. I was like, bang. And then five papers was in there. So I was like, which one is it? He was like, this one. And he was like, I also need the insurance. I was like, what I look like? I'm asking you, right? What is, I don't know this. The first time being pulled over, he was like, yeah, I hope it's your last. But he whispered it though. Like he was like quiet about it. Like he, it's like he didn't want me to hear him say that. It was weird. I don't know. I was like, I never got pulled over before. And then he was like, yeah, let's hope it's your last. He said it just like that, all quiet. Like I was like, okay. And then he took it, went away. And then that's when I made the snap when he was in his car and I was in mine. Put the window back up because it was mad cold outside. I'm waiting. I get this. I get my phone. I made this snap. I'll replay it again right now too. I made this snap and I was just like, oh my god.
Y'all just seen it. Y'all seen how it was. I was just... My mood, dog. My mood. I feel like my lips are really dry. Okay. Cool. Can't find my Vaseline. My Carmex, my Listics. Got some chappies. Lip balm. Put some of this on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Don't judge me on how I put Carmex lipstick, lipsticks, whatever, chabbies on. And yeah, I do that. Don't, don't, don't make fun of me. But yeah, this one was crazy. My lips probably about to be mad glossy in the video now. All right, back to the story. I keep easily distracting. And that's when I made the snap. Like, yeah, I just got pulled over. And it was just crazy to me, like, I wasn't in the mood, and then here come this cop trying to make my day more shitty. But, he was pretty chill, like, he was, he was calm, he was pretty collected. He looked like he was just tired and was wanting to go home. Pull me over, how you doing? I'm like, all right, you, that would have been his response. But, you know, he was just like, I'm doing good. But he seemed chill, man, I'm chilling, how about you, boy? <laughs> but yeah he gave me everything back put all the stuff in the right folder I think and then I put it back in the glove compartment and then I plugged up my phone to the aux and then I started playing <laughs> I got into my feelings so hard I plugged up the aux what did I play I know what did, I think I played um I played I played Perks is Calling from Future, even though that, I don't know, Perks is Calling, all right. That song, those two songs is just my chill songs. Like, these songs, really just, like, I was really in the car just like. <laughs> yes, you know what I mean? Like, I was just so aggy. I was just like, oh, my God, no. I was just mad. What? Got to my brother's house. Told him. I was like, nigga, I just got bagged. I just got bagged. He's like, he's like, yeah, I seen your story. I was like, man. People asking me what I did and stuff. I'm like, I went straight on the left turn. I don't even know why he was following me to begin with. Like, I wasn't doing anything. But that's his job. He's a cop making sure the laws are enforced. I understand, but yeah, that was it, though, I got pulled over, he was pretty chill with me, and I didn't really do nothing wrong, I just went straight on the left, but it's nighttime. granted, I know that street, because I live around here, I take it like almost every morning, but he could have let me slide, and there was a car that was in front of me that did it too, so if you really want to get technical, we both should have got pulled over. You should have had two cars and not only one. But it's alright. It's alright. Funny thing is, oh my gosh, the funny thing is, when I was leaving my driveway, I have the option to take the way I took or take the main road. I decided to take the back way, the quiet way, even though I know every night cops sit on that street. But I'm like, I'm not doing anything. Which is normally never the case. He wasn't doing anything but i'm like yo that's crazy because if i would have took the main road i wouldn't have dealt with that but at the same time if i didn't take if i didn't take the way that i took something else maybe possibly worse could have happened on the main road so i'd rather take a warning ticket which i got a written warning ticket I can't show you the whole thing, but I'll just show you right there <laughs> if the camera can focus. I'll throw a picture up of it because I, I put that on Snap too. It's just crazy. 17, and I got my first written warning ticket. I could have got a verbal one. He could have just been like, all right, don't do it again. But 
think he just needed something. Like he just needed something to put in a book to say he did today. He's like, yo, I gotta stop today, all right? But, hey, grateful. Nothing else, nothing more happened. Just a written ticket. Don't really bother me. I don't gotta pay nothing. It's not a fine. He explained it all out to me. Because I didn't do nothing, really. I didn't do anything life-threatening. Nobody, that, the store that's on the left, it was closed, so... But, yeah, story time. Your boy, Mr. K Wavy. Like and comment on this video. And be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the wave. I made a picture of what my lock screen is. I'll try and throw it up I'm right over here on this side. Over on this side and stuff. Because I want you guys to see, like, I really feel like it's really cool. I made it nice. It came out nice. This is a picture of, like, all of this. Like, my shoe. You'll see it. Be over here or something. But, yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Wave Team. Be a part of the Wave Team fam and stuff. Other than that, follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Maybe you can check out Facebook at Mr. K Wavy. Same as a YouTube channel. And I have me on Snap. K underscore Wavy 88. Yeah. It's your boy, Kaylee, man. I'm out. Peace.